In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase your productivity in lead map with this new uh, floating sidebar update. First, let me show you what it looks like. This is what we're going to get in the upper left corner. You will see their button. And this is kind of the layer manager allows you to control the layer visibility. So you can change layer opacity interactively. You can also change, for example, the uh, style different layer. For example, I can change the symbology. This is just a point layer. I can change, for example, the radius to a smaller one. I can also customize the color if you want to. Allows you to basically change the visualization for vector and raster data layers easily just with a couple of click and you can turn things on and off uh, i can uh, close it i can also change the sidebar width if needed sometimes you have some widget that you want to change you can do it like this way and it's very flexible allows you to add any ipi widget so basically you can control the map with this sidebar widget and it doesn't take space you can collapse it it's going to be just with a single button in the upper left corner it's going to make your life so much easier, especially if you're working with maps uh, in Python. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to get this one and then how to utilize that to uh, increase your productivity in LeafMap. In order to follow this tutorial, you need to go to the LeafMap uh, website. The link is in the video description below. Once you uh, go to the website on the left corner, go to uh, uh, Map Libre and then scroll down to find floating sidebar here click this one once it's open you can just uh, run this one in google collab so you can right click open this in google collab so for here just uh, press control um, slash to uncommon this line and then you can install this one to follow step by step you can see here there are not, not many lines of a uh, source code here it's only a couple lines just like what you traditionally use uh, how you use a uh, leaf map alternatively you can uh, right click or you can click the button here to download this one to your computer then you should be able to save this one to computer but you need to install leaf map on your computer once it's open then you can start the jupyter lab on your local computer then i'm going to show you step by step how to utilize that so first you need to import the leaf map import map libre uh, gl as leaf map so we're going to use the leaf map uh, back end a uh, map libre back end after that we're just going to create a map at the base map and you can add any uh, vector data layer so i'm going to use two geojson data layers one is the u.s uh, state boundary the other one is the cities um so basically just two geojson and that's it we don't need to do anything special so right now the map has been um, switched to using uh, map libre i can see here and there's a line showing you the database you probably you won't be able you won't see this one it's normal so for me, I can just uh, import GeoAI. You don't need to run this one. It's just for me, uh, I kind of, some of the packages are in compatible with the, the library. So if I run again, then that warning is gone. And this is what I show you at the beginning. This is the new, basically the sidebar, um, floating sidebar allows you to turn things on and off. Like I said, you can turn layer on and off. Uh, you can change the opacity. So you can change things interactively. Uh, very nice you can also remove data layer so if you there's a layer that you don't need uh, you can easily just click this button here just this uh, close button is going to remove the data layer and it's dynamic you can see it has been updated automatically so it's very very nice again i'm going to click the change the maybe the cities okay and then i'm going to change it to maybe a red color change it to a smaller radius then just click apply you'll be able to apply and it's very cool so you don't need to write any lines of code it's very simple and easy to use you can also change the opacity i can slide the uh, circle opacity to a smaller number that's going to make it a little bit more transparent and this is how you can change things interactively similarly i can uh, style the vector data uh, for the uh, polygon data layer right so here the us state right so it's like 0.80 i can change it to maybe fully opaque so now you see it's fully opaque i can change it to maybe 0.65 uh pretty cool so this is how you can start this layer as i mentioned there's uh basically you can change the sidebar width and sometimes if you have some other uh sidebars that you want to change it yeah to allow i'll make it a little bit wider you can do it using this way once you're done you can just close it and close this one so you can also collapse the uh the layer manager so if you click the this button it's going to basically collapse it 
also right now these are some of just the data uh the the the, the the layers that's already added to the map but you can add any custom widgets to this sidebar for example i can create um an ipad widget here let me run this one then i can create a float sidebar so this one allows you or maybe ink sidebar allows you to change the um zoom label of the map we create this float sidebar using ipad widget then we observe the sidebar other the slider observe the slider using this function so anytime when you change the uh, slider i'm going to change the zoom level of the map so m dot set zoom so change new means basically just a new value of the slider and then it's going to basically change it to um to to change the the the, the, the zoom level of the map after that all you need to do is call this um methods m dot add to cyber so but add to cyber methods allows you to add any custom ipad widget it can be anything it can be a drop down list it can be a text box it can be input box it can be anything use your imagination or anything you want to create you can also be a horizontal box a vertical box a composite of widget and you can design whatever you want once you're done then just add to cyber put in the widget give it a label it can also specify the icon and that's it so if i run this one now if you go back to here you will see now we have this zoom slider here that allows you to change the zoom level of the map if you slider you will see it's going to change it so it's pretty cool although right now it's only like you, uh, you change the zoom level but you can change the location you can change the zoom uh, latitude longitude you can also allow the user to enter a text and if he enter then you can zoom to a location so there are lots of uh potential scenario you can utilize this one and again if you zoom uh clap this one it's going to be uh, minimized and you can change you can also change this so here this icon and the label here is where you can customize you can change the icon you can change the uh, zoom level if you want to customize it this is where you're going to change so the uh, label and the zoom so you can change it to me maybe um, um something else okay uh, if you want you now you're going to get another one so look at this something else also for the icon the icon uh, you can press shift tap on your keyboard in the help documentation you can take a look at this one so the close icon and also the widget icon you can customize it click this link to take you to the website and this is where you can uh, make changes there are tons of icons here allows you to customize so for example maybe i want um how about this maybe this uh heart icon right so all you need to do is just copy click and then it's going to co copy the icon to the clipboard after that go back to your notebook and then from here just simply select this one so uh this is mdi uh, magnify i'm going to say Control v to save this one and then if i run again now go back to the widget as you can see now we have this hot icon so it's very flexible allow you to create many many things and customize things easily once you're done uh, or right now if i change this one it should be able to change it right so it's basically observing so whenever the slider is changed you're going to change the zoom level of the map and it's very cool so uh, if you don't need it anymore you can close it so this allows you to basically control the map um activities of visualization layers and also symbology easily it doesn't take too much space when you are done you can just minimize it and that's good to uh, you're good to go so you can add lines polygon points or even raster you can also change the raster so here like i have the background base map i can change it the background base map um will be opacity can be changed if you don't need the data layer again uh, anymore just close 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 and now you're done there's no layer anymore so that's it it's very simple and easy to use there's nothing special things you need to do you just create a map and then add whatever uh, geospatial data lay unique um, raster vector whatever and then just display the map that's it so uh, everything is basically used by default previously there's a uh, add sidebar here if you take a look at this one we use the sidebar it used to be on the right but right now we add this floating sidebar i think this is going forward going to be the default one but if you want the traditional sidebar you can just uh, specify the edge sidebar equal to two 
So right now, for example, here I can say eight sidebar equal to two. Then when you display the map, the sidebar is going to come up here uh, on the right. Oops. Or maybe add floating sidebar to force. And then right now it's a bit confusing, but in the future, I'm going to duplicate this uh, and then to change it to the uh, add floating sidebar equal to force. Then you're going to get the traditional, the previous one here uh, is on the right. So you can click this one, it's going to minimize it. So this is basically moving from the sidebar really on the right to the to the map. So in that way, you don't need to change the map width. Uh, it's going to minim to minimize the uses of the space. Rather than have to have this one, it's going to squeeze the map um, when you open it. And also it's going to have like take a slight uh, some space on the right here because of this arrow here. And without that, now we have this floating sidebar on the left side. So it's default again, you don't need to change this. You just create a map, add data, and that's it. So I would prefer going forward utilizing this new sidebar instead of the one on the right. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. I will see you in the next one. Take care.